it would Perfect. be so in sync it was so in sync for me it was like oh. the, the exact right time are you saying for real mm. yes because i already Ooh. clapped and i looked at you and you were like oh no <laughs> Ooh, it <laughs> was it was so good it was okay. perfect <clears throat> couldn't have been better <clears throat> it, it was mostly me doing that you, you had nothing to do with it okay you you did do the beat better than master did last mm. time yeah, where is Marta? Did they? Where is Marta? <gasps> Unfortunately, is... she will probably not be joining us today. Mm -hmm. uh, because, because of her illness. Be yeah, uh, her is it illness <laughs> conditions. A ailment. Yes, ailment. And her situation is always a good oh, word. Current situation. Not not the current situation. Her situation. She has the, yeah. It's her current situation. So. The gallstones. Also, also talking about the situation, did we watch Jersey Shore together? Yeah, a little bit. Did, I think. There, there was there was a character or a person called Nick. Was it no? What was she Nick called? The situation or something like that. Oh, there there was at least the situation. Johnny situation or, or something. The situation. Sure her. And uh, I actually googled him just a couple of days ago yeah and he was in all six seasons of jersey shore yeah it wasn't most was snooki not in most of them also. oh yeah she was called snooki probably mm -hmm. snooki also got her own series uh, yeah, and stuff like that but S for everyone who talk. doesn't know he, he called himself the situation because yeah because the of young his, people uh, because of his abs, his glistening abs, he would <sighs> he would uh, pull up his t-shirt and go mm -hmm. point at his abs with his finger and say mm -hmm. the situation or something like that. I don't remember exactly, but <laughs> and us as a young boys, it just yes, we got uh, so oof. body jealous. Oof. Just <laughs> wanted to start licking his. Oh wait, no. Uh, no. <laughs> Forget Kissing that. Kissing them, not licking. Ugh. The the glistening abs in the in the sunlight mm. of Jersey Shore. And it reflected the sun like. It kind of reminds me of your of your story. Uh, people mm. haven't listened to that. You should you should True. go listen to Olsen's oh, yeah, that's, that's... Uh, Alpha story. And yours too, because <laughs> it was so normal. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, t tonight. No. Oh, yes. Who is coming? Who is coming? Who is going to break into my house? And I have to call the police again and be like, Police, hello! There's a sound in my house and I'm scared. He's giving me candy in my shoe. He's giving me candy in my shoe. And he's like, Come here, come here. I have some candy in your shoe. It's not, it's not homemade candy. It's store-bought candy. Mm, okay, if it's Kinder Egg, I will be like, Yes, girl, come to me and just give it to my body. <gasps> So today is Thvöru uh, Sleikir, mm. as it's uh, as his name is in Icelandic, but in uh, English, directly translated, it's Spoon Liquor. <laughs> I, I kind of mm. spoiled this uh, yesterday. Yes, because you saw it probably on the text. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I was. I have a list, and uh, he he uh, he is known for being tall and thin, like most of the you lads, like me. Yep, like, uh, well, at least tall. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> I have to get... <laughs> but like. he also likes to uh, steal thvörr, which is a long wooden spoon yes. in Icelandic. Uh, and he licks them. So, uh, and uh, preferably you would want to have cooked dinner the day before and not done the dishes so they so the uh, wooden spoons would be uh, still have some grease or gravy or something on them true uh, just so that he can he can get some good goodies oh, um, uh, but now for everyone's favorite part 
The poem. Oh yes. The poet did Svör och slikir. Spoon liquor. The fourth was spoon liquor. Like spindle he was thin. He felt himself in clover. When the cook wasn't in. Then stepped up, he grappled the stirring pot with stirring spoon with glee, holding it with both hands, for it was slippery. That that was it. Oh, oh, it's just there waiting for more. Don't you know that it's it's four sentences? It's like. Oh uh, yeah, it's kind of like. Or eight eight sentences, I guess. Yes, it's kind of like a haiku. It's short and sweet. <laughs> it's nothing like a haiku, I think. But yes. No. Mm. Almost like a haiku, but nothing like yeah. it. Yeah, mine is a haiku. Then you're perfect. It, it, it's like a haiku because it's a a for, uh, it's a poem. Yeah, true. But the whole structure, I think, is completely different. Also, does it rhyme? Are you reading the Icelandic translation to English, or are you? No, I have the, the I have the English version. Oh, clever boy! So it, it ah. kind of rhymed. It was uh, like spindle. He was thin, and then when the cook wasn't in thin mm. in mm, and then true, true. the stirring spoon with glee for it was slippery Ooh, clever clever rhymes clever rhymes welcome to the dictionary talk with me Titi, and me also <laughs> <laughs> and i'm here as well Marta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Marta. <laughs> <laughs> oh that was confusing uh. <laughs> speaking of confusing oh Let's talk about products Icelandic that used to exist but do not anymore. That I used th- to be our favorites when we were young and I, wait, kids. Uh, I, I thought you were going to talk about your sexuality when you start talking about something confusing. But go on. Uh, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Olsen is too so, sure of himself. So, do you remember anything that you loved when you were a child? Uh, so I'm just gonna just gonna say the the classic thing that everyone's gonna say when they talk about uh, candy uh, I I in Iceland, yeah. uh, which is no longer being produced. Mm-hmm. But everyone reminisces reminisces about it and says it was the best type of that type of candy. I don't think it is. Go on. It was the, the blue mm-hmm. opal. Mm-hmm. It was disgusting. It was the worst <laughs> opal of all. Oh my god! It was terrible. It was. Oh. I, I don't even remember eating it. I just remember that it went Everybody, like. Everybody, it went crazy. Yeah, yeah. It, they stopped producing it, so everyone like bought everything they could, and then I've, I've seen some, uh, like we've seen some people selling them on, on like eBay or something like similar on, on Iceland for like, yeah, a, an arm and a leg, pretty much. Just yeah, what too much money. That- it stopped 2005 it stopped selling yeah and it stopped selling because the ingredient they were using was, <gasps> was ah, chloroform was oh it chloroform God. yeah <laughs> uh no it was the first time in 1982 it was taken off market because of chloroform that it was in okay that they had yeah uh let me see da, 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 all yeah. sense reading mm. about this i think he's looking at the uh, wikipedia page for blue oh, yeah. opal no i'm not doing that. i'm just <laughs> memories no, it was also because of the chlorine. It wasn't as good as before, I guess. Yes, it's not as good as in the old times. Yeah, like new coke. <laughs> I don't remember it, but I heard it. That was terrible. Yeah, but then they then they brought classic coke. True. And everyone bought that like crazy. Oh, they're bringing back classic coke. I remember they brought back Crystal Pepsi. I drank that and it was super weird. It tastes like Pepsi, but it did not look and feel like that. Crystal, Pepsi at all. W- wasn't it even more the sugar? Clear liquid. Yeah, yeah, it was clear. Yeah. I, I liked it's Pepsi Blue. Oh, yeah, that was so good. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> I don't remember if it tasted any different. I just remember, remember that it was blue. It had that thing, blueberry or some ice cool taste or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And then we also had, like, what is it? Pepsi Gold? Oh, yeah. That was. It was it golden or was it just in a golden bottle? I think it was in a golden bottle. It was like kind of see through. Yeah, it was probably yeah, probably see through. And then Pepsi Lime. It always came and went, and then now it's permanently. I think nice. I, and I, I think, think we still so. have Pepsi Max Lime. Yeah, P- Pepsi Pepsi Lime is quite. Uh, at least you can find it in the supermarket here in Sweden. So yeah. it's 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 and everywhere. Fresca. 
Fresca. It, yeah, it just disappeared. I remember Fresca was everywhere, even in France. Fresca was there, and then it's now poof. It just disappeared. I don't know when, but I just because people realized, like people realized that Fresca is terrible. I just realized like few maybe th- four or five months ago. I was like, wow. Fresca was the thing, and I was like, "When did it disappear?" And I was like, "I don't know. It just it's gone." But what mom used to drink it a lot. Yeah, I, I'm not so a I'm not a big uh, big uh, soda drinker. No, you are not. That's the sad part. I'm a big milk drinker. I'm like oh. that. I'm like one of those uh, you lads that likes to drink the milk right out of, out of the teat. <laughs> I, I, but I, I, I do love milk uh, from a farm, not not processed. It's, oh, it's delicious. It's so much better, Olsen. It's like, it's a whole new world. Just milk is not good, and I get tummy aches when I drink milk. Hmm. Yeah, I've had a tummy ache now for like a few days. Because of the milk, you're choking. Because of all the yogurt I've been, I've been eating. Oh. No, I don't know. <laughs> I have no oh. idea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then we talk about yogurt a little bit. In Sweden, do they have like we have sour milk or sour milk? Yes. What is called translated yes. roughly in English? Yes. Do you yes. have like sour milk or sour milk? Yes. It's it's called filmjölk. Ah, uh, okay. And we usually just call it in Iceland plain yogurt, but it's not plain yogurt. It's very sour. It's very sour, uh, and, and it's and it's not nasty. not really like yogurt. Oh. Well, uh, kind kind of, but not really. It's so fun to see tourists like, oh, plain yogurt, take it, and then taste it like, oh. oh. <laughs> I have to tell you about about someone mm-hmm. uh, when I when I was living in uh, in Reykjavik, there was a mm-hmm. an exchange student uh, yeah. that had moved to Iceland, and they they had been living there for a few months, and they it always felt like the food that they cooked, like it, it was kind of strange. Mm-hmm. And then uh, after a few few months, they uh, figured out that the salt that they had bought, hjartar yeah. salt, uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't actually salt, but actually something completely different. <laughs> what is it called in English? It's uh, salt. <laughs> is it? Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna find out what it's called. It's like for baking. You usually use it for baking, and you can also use it put in water if you have bad tummy, like mother yes. or baking it's, soda. Yes, it's it's ammonium. Carb- carbonate yeah uh, so it's the ponder <sighs> the food was terrible yeah <laughs> it was they, we have salt in a big thing saying salt yeah, in Icelandic but, but they just saw salt. they just saw something and says something salt and they were like oh great you know it, it was like I think bigger chunks of salt or something but they're not just be stupid. they're like oh great I'll, I'll buy some salt and then they bought it and, and like salted their steaks or whatever. I, I don't think it was steaks. Oh. I think they were vegetarian actually. But <sighs> poor people, poor people living in this. That, that was the this. that was the funniest funniest thing. Speaking oh. of funny things, did they do you remember? Lukur, aka Tucker. Tucker. Oh. I remember you loved those Tucker. Oh, I lo- I love them. I when love we them. had those movie nights, Loisa called, and you were always like, Oh yeah. It, they're delicious I haven't had them for years and they usually get stuck in my teeth they are not available anymore sort of burst your bubble why why are they not available Olsen why did you buy up every, did you buy up the stock probably because something was in it <laughs> yeah probably something were, bad were they Icelandic well, yeah at least packaged in Icelandic it was okay, yeah it was packaged caramel. in Iceland. there was fruit and licorice probably there were a few flavors of Tukur, I think. Yeah. And you always had them at home. I remember that. Yeah, well, it just shows you how little we ate of it. <laughs> That's how we made the video of Lökkur, where Marta was an actress for the first time. Ach, thinking of her first big role about a commercial about caramels. Marta's big break. Mm-hmm. Lökkur, Tukur. I, I, don't, I don't know what the, the movie was called. Oh. Okay, I found one thing on this list about nostalgic things that was in Iceland. Yes. It says they used to have lakopipar or salt licorice pipes from Finland, but I don't believe that. I never saw them in Iceland. I are, I, I remember the name actually, but I, I don't think I've ever eaten it. I just them. remember it when you showed me the video when you lived in Sweden and we bought lakopipar. Oh, oh, that's oh, <laughs> I have to see that's why I remember the name. 
Yes. That's why. Alaco <laughs> Piper. And, and we, we were so interested. We bought these and then we kept them, I think, for almost two years or something. And then we made a video and it was terrible. <laughs> Uh-huh. Because we didn't want to try it because he did so weird things, this yeah. guy in the video. One, one thing that I missed from Iceland, uh, that my, mm. like I, I never bought candy when I lived in Iceland, but whenever mom buys candy, I, I eat mm. all her candy. That's, yeah. that's what sense. I do, just to, to help her get through the candy, you know. Mm, true. I don't that want her to be eating too much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Go on, I'm sorry for you to hear this. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's it's called kritar oh, in yeah, Icelandic. It's like it, it would be like directly translated to chalk. It looks like chalk that you would write with on a blackboard, mm-hmm. but like smaller, like just uh, kind of two centimeter pieces of of chalk. Yeah, and they're they're completely white, and uh, then they have like a licorice something shell underneath. Oh, yeah. And then I, I have no idea what's in the inside. I think some fake licorice because it was not like yeah. Atlantic per se. No. It was like some Danish or Swedish licorice or Finnish probably. Lakopipa. Lakopipa. I need to watch this video. I need to find it again. Yeah, f- find it after the podcast. Yeah. And then, of course, Tom and Jerry juice. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Shit. I hated those drinks. It was too sugary for me. I, I don't remember drinking them, but I, I do remember them. I remember the commercials always, Tom and Jerry fighting, and then the juice came out, like, ooh, drink those juices. And you That's won't fight cool. anymore, yay. Yeah, I guess. it was taken off market because it was too sweet. Oh, yeah. I still I think the Icelandic uh, uh, chocolate milk is the best chocolate milk. Oh, I hate chocolate milk. It's not good. <laughs> well, you hate milk. Yes, I've had milk. I've had chocolate milk in the Netherlands. They uh, they also sell some chocolate milk. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't remember what it's called. Choco uh, milk. Choco milk, something like that. Actually, mm-hmm. uh, it was okay. It wasn't bad, but it doesn't oh. compare to cocoa milk. Ooh. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to cocoa milk. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm remembering. Oh my god. Oh, there was. Oh, what was this called? It was my favorite yogurt when I was a kid. Oh. Big or it's small like a... packages. Hmm. Big or small. Uh, Medium. Pa- pa- but me- they put me- like pop rocks in it. So you poured the pop rocks in and it was exploding in your mouth. Pop rocks? That's crazy. Yes, yeah, metal, I think so, it was called. Yeah, you're, you're definitely not thinking of at least uh, Inca oh, Thickney. Yes. Uh, no, because uh, the, there were there were no pop rocks in Inkjafikne. It was smetlur yogurt. Smet. Wait, wait. It it has strawberry and banana flavor. I'm gonna I'm gonna Google this. I feel like I was smetlur yogurt. I, I just remember the commercial. It was like a scientist like crazy. Yeah, oh, I remember I this. this. I remember this. I it did was not. So good. I did not eat it often, but I did eat it a few times. Mm, it was so good. It was so fun. Explosion in your mouth yeah, yeah. with it, the taste. It's like, yeah, it was an explosion in your mouth, definitely. Mm-hmm. And then we had the urban legend, and people died. Kids died when they were eating it with the yogurt, oh, no. like, like when people drink soda with pop rocks. W- with Mentos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. Pop rocks, soda, and Mentos. Oh. I don't know. How? I don't remember. Somehow you died of pop rocks. It's an urban yeah, legend. Yeah, probably. Mm, you die it, of everything well, you if we're if we're talking about Icelandic candy, we also have to talk about kantis, which is just still. <laughs> it's still around. It's still around, but it, it's just like very old and uh, olden days candy. It's just it's, it's not in Sweden, and I don't th- I, I have I haven't seen it. I would think it's like where it's gonna. I think it's Danish, probably. Yeah, probably. Like. It's not something we would make in Iceland. We make licorice. We make licorice. Finish. We make it better than the Finnish people. Mm. I, I would have to agree, but I am partial. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> not like I'm from Iceland. Oh. Candies. Rock candy. No? Mm-hmm. Kind of. It's just... How, how is it made? It's just, is it molten sugar that made into like clumps of big... Sh- yeah. 
caramelly sugar. Co- confectioner, confectionery mineral composed of large sugar crystals. It's just very large sugar crystals. That's but it. They looked brown. Yeah. Well, they're they're just yeah. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That's uh, that's brown rock sugar. That's probably what we had actually. Yeah. Probably. I think uh, brown sugar is very popular in Iceland compared to other countries. Yeah, we used it in everything when we bake, especially. When we oh, well, you have to use both brown sugar and regular sugar when you bake. No. You know why? You know why? 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 Because they have different temperatures at which they they melt. So you can, mm. if you if you do it right, you can have melted sugar, and then you can also have you can have like two different textures of the sugar. Mm-hmm. I just got a hot take on it, that. That's too much sugar. Making it, no, you just you know, you don't have to put like t- t- too much of everything. Just put a decent amount of brown sugar, decent amount of like castor sugar, mix it together with some with some butter. An eggs. Then some eggs and, and flour. Some uh, chop some uh, chop some. Uh, what's it called? Chocolate. Yeah, some some uh, chocolate into some mm-hmm. chocolate pieces, throw it What's in, mix piece? it together. Uh, take that, uh, like a spoonful, and, and oh. make a make a sphere, place it on a, a baking paper, and then uh, pat it down slightly with a spoon, and mm-hmm. then do that for like a dozen of them for a, a baking tray, put them in the oven for 15 minutes on uh, one, 180 degrees, bam, got chocolate chip cookies. No time at all. 175 degrees. That's the golden <laughs> temperature for cookies. That's true. I, I had no idea about the temperature. I was just I was just making things up. But the best ingredients, you did the recipe completely correct. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, but only thing, if I would add something, add pudding in, pudding mix, because then you make Subway cookies. That's their Ooh. secret in Iceland. They put pudding. Spilling the secrets here on the Stormcast. Mm-hmm. And I want. made my Christmas cookie dough from scratch. Oh. I used the foundation of basic cookie dough. I yep. put brown sugar. Yes. I skipped the sugar because first batch was too sweet, so I skipped it. Put I just, eggs. Awesome. Butter. Awesome. Mm? Just reduce the amount of brown sugar. No, no, no. And white sugar. But have them both. Have them no. both. Then you get the it crispy was, outside and the crispy. and the soft inside. It's crispy and soft outside. Stop it, guy. I haven't finished even what's in Ooh. it, huh? Well, I'm just so shocked that you're not using both types of sugar. To Brown sin. sugar, eggs, butter. Yes. Eggs and butter have to be in room temperature because then yes, it makes it best course. together. Of course. And then you have pinch of salt, pinch of. Yes. Yes. Uh, natural? No, not no, baking soda. Uh, then I put pudding, either vanilla, chocolate, I'm just, or salted just gonna caramel. Ask, mm. Olsen, baking soda or baking powder. Mm. Mother baking, baking soda. Baking soda, okay. Soda, yeah. And then I put to make it holidayish. Then I put a little bit of pinch of cinnamon, mm. pinch of brown cake mix, mm. and then flour, of course. Yeah, flour is needed in the dough to make it perfect. Mm. Yeah. We forgot that. <laughs> well, I, I said flour. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, you said it. <laughs> I remembered it. Oh, okay, that's very good. But <laughs> the salt, the salt is also very essential to get that. Yeah. And it's also can also be good to have like uh, bigger pieces of salt instead of just uh, table salt or whatever. Slightly yeah, rougher. In, like fashion now. Slightly rougher shalt, salt because then you have that uh, you have that taste in different parts of the cookie instead of just the cookie being slightly more salty. Don't like it like little oh. like crunchy flakes. It's something that's in no, Iceland everywhere. Like oh, you buy chocolate with. Salt flakes. No, but not not licorice with salt flakes. Like the, the, the salt flakes aren't there. Mm-hmm. It's just mm-hmm. slightly more, kind of, slightly bigger pieces of salt, so that they're kind of not. It's not just that the cookie gets a bit salter. Mm-hmm. There are. There is salt pretty much everywhere, but it's just you have these kind of salt, uh, salty pieces. In mm-hmm. in the cho- uh, in the cookie, but you, you you're not you're definitely not crunchy on salt or, or having big flakes. Good. I I can I can recommend this uh, when next time you're doing uh, chocolate chip cookies. Oh, when we're doing the baking cast when we yes. live <laughs> bake for you guys. <laughs> and uh, then I will ship them cookies, and they will we will all ship each other cookies, and then we taste test them. Yes. 
Oh, this oh, is too salty. Mm. Oh, th this one, uh, the salt is too uniform in this one, I feel. Mm -hmm. I would like to have more uh, uh, salty pieces around uh, in, in the cookie. Uh, that's a, it's a, only a three star for me, Olsen. True, true. I will only give you one of this. <laughs> one star. One star. You haven't even tasted it. Impossible. <laughs> I, can, I can smell it from here. The salt. It's disgusting. But to go to the last thing from yes. the past. Yes. Skola yogurt. Skola yogurt. Or the mm. school yogurt. School yogurt. It was delicious. Mm. Mm. My favorite was with banana flavor. It was so good. You know what? Banana flavor school yogurt was really good. And the caramel was like eh. Oh, and then oh my there God. was like no, no, Olsen. The caramel was the oh, best. Oh yeah, no, that was a good one. There was apple and caramel. Ah, oh, it was so good. The chocolate and the strawberries I did not like because no. I didn't like the strawberry like like little like strawberry yeah. pieces. But the caramel, oh, whew, I think I had I oh. caramel pretty much all the time. Oh, the banana was the best, and then the caramel was the next. Uh, banana was second for me. Mm. Banana mm. was second. Mm. I I will bet you Marta will say, oh, my favorite was um, I don't know the other one. The other one. The chocolate and, and the Arta Barrio. Oh, Marta, you're here. Huh? Oh, hi, hi, Marta. Hello. This is totally Mar Marta. Hello. Oh, so you like oh. the, the chocolate and strawberry one? It is my favorite. Oh, my gustos. I got to go now. Bye bye. Bye, Marta. Thank you bye. for coming. <laughs> See, we're, so, we're so insensitive. <laughs> she doesn't know. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't listen to the episodes either way, so. That you're exposed, Marta. <laughs> exposed in front of us. Uh, that sounded so wrong when I said it like that. Oh yeah, that does sound wrong. Uh, in school, I also used to. You you could get some milk. I would just get like. A, of course. You just could get, get some like. Milk. You, I, I would just get some milk, like in a, uh, in a kind of what's it called carton, like a small carton of milk, and I would just chug it down. <laughs> Delicious. But. Did you drink the milk with fish? Oh, I, I, I can still drink milk with fish. Oh, <laughs> not all fish, but some fish. But the, okay, what strange things I tend to do? There's milk and fish. Oh, milk what is and milk? Uh, oh, I know, I know. Oh, no. Hot dogs. Oh, milk and hot dogs. Oh, it's disgusting. I've, I, 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 I've done that recently. Oh, and like milk with meatballs. I know my. Carsten does that and that's disgusting. <laughs> ha! Uh, and he drinks Untarena. Not, not like meat. Ah, uh, Untarena. Ha! Uh, no. <laughs> the best milk is Liet milk or skimmed milk. Less uh, fat. Is it skimmed or is it semi skimmed? I don't know. Semi skimmed, yeah. I think the. I, I have no idea. I, I don't know the term. It's the healthy milk. 1.5%. One, 1. Mm -hmm. In Iceland, that's at least 1.5%. I think the. The the fat one is like three percent. Yeah. I, I like it straight from the cow. <laughs> you you like under the other, like. <laughs> no, I, I've, I've actually I've actually never done that, uh, but I know that my brother. Mhm. Mm Raki. Which brother? Yeah, Raki Bjorn. He, he's done that before. Oh, have you drinking breast milk? Have you tasted that? No. That is interesting. Mm. On the topic of milk, there is this after after cows uh, feed, mm -hmm. or no uh, af after they feed, not after they feed after they birth. Yes. Uh, like a day, or I think a week. Mm -hmm. Like a day to a week after they they give birth, they uh, their milk is a bit stranger. It has like lots and lots of some protein or something like that. Oh, it's healthier. Uh, and uh, and people make make this kind of dish out of it where it's kind of like a it, it gets it gets like very thick so it's kind of like a pudding and then you you heat it up and you you eat it with some uh, uh i'm gonna guess brown sugar because we have brown sugar and everything <laughs> but if not brown sugar maybe oh. cinnamon it's misa no 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 it's not misa it's not misa oh. it's like it it's like this special no 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 it's not no, no, no. It's very smooth, but very like 
I'll, I'll try to find out what it is. But they what is apparently that? apparently they also have it in in Sweden. I, I I found out just recently, and my my mom would get like bottles of this, where, and we would keep it in the in the cupboard, oh. or in the maybe in the fridge. Oh, we'll get like oh. two two liter bottles of this. Uh, oh, is it like Frau? Oh, I, I actually would like Frau something or like Alskin or oh, what? Ah, oh, I need to know this now, Didi. We cannot stop the podcast unless you find this. I'll find it. You. Our souls are bound with you, Didi. Go on the interweb, surf the browser, surf I'm trying, Google I'm Chrome. I'm trying, but all I get is like uh, people asking, "When does the milk come out?" When after I've had a baby, <laughs> 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 something like that. So I've, I'm what's not getting answer? anywhere. What's the answer with that? I want to know that. I have no idea. Oh. I'm going to do one thing. Hey, Google. When do you start lactating after giving birth? According to Kelly Mom, milk coming in generally refers to the time when the mother notices increased breast fullness as milk production begins to kick into full gear. This usually occurs two to three days after birth, but in as many as 25% of mothers, this may take longer than three days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I did not know that. I did just want to say... Hey Google, for the phones of other people to start. <laughs> this is the top oh. result. Oh. <laughs> I forgot it hurt me. Uh, that was okay, nice. so so this is a cliffhanger with this weird milk product. Yes. Uh, uh, mm, I'm going to search one thing. Oh, and, uh, if we if we don't know the answer, we can ask my mom. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Fish scribble. Nope. Okay. Nope. 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 I'm just learning about calf's birth. I don't want to learn that. Uh, nope. Okay. We. I. It's something we we'll find it one day. We will find it one day. Yes. This is like a specialty thing. It's it's kind of like a pudding, but it's also like similar to, uh, mm -hmm. like yeah, it, it's kind of a pudding. I would say. Is it, is it just a milk pudding? It's kind of a milk pudding, uh, but it's just this special milk that comes out uh, shortly after they birth, and then you know, yeah, we we eat it because it's delicious. And I think my mom, my mom, had us eat it, and then afterwards she told us what it was. That's that's usually her, uh, her thing. I hope she, I hope she doesn't do it anymore. She's been like, oh, you you like that mince meat? Well, that mm -hmm. was that was uh, <laughs> that was uh, cow heart? cow hearts that I bought yeah. and then minced up, and we're like, it was delicious. You were so sneaky and evil. <laughs> she would always tell us afterwards, though. Yeah, but I ate it when I knew what it was, but I was forced to eat with you because I always said no. <laughs> also, <laughs> does not want to stay uh, and eat, even if there's like cookies or, or no. like a chocolate cake or just something that he loves. He's like, no, no, and I then, don't want. Oh, do you want milk with your cookies? No, just water, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna dip your cookies in the water? Yes. Bloop. No, no, no. I, Olsen don't is, I only dip in coffee. Also, isn't a monster. Uh, some say I'm a robot. No, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's good for this episode. So, Marta, stay safe. Get well. See you soon, I guess, girl. <laughs> girl. What do you have to say to the. Peace out. Ye Peace out, yo, boy. Boy. Episode 3 To Whom It May Concern. We're in Olsen's living room, where he's recording a podcast episode. Three, two, one. And we're back. How was your week, did and Marta? Olsen keeps on talking alone in the apartment. Time flies by. Thirty minutes later. And that's why you should never wear your underwear both on the inside and the outside. <laughs> Olsen, you are sometimes really nasty. <laughs> Stop it. I know you like it. I love <laughs> but
But speaking about love, we completely forgot about the email, guys. Oh, uh, yeah. I totally forgot. You silly ass. Who do you think sent it to us? Just mm. pr probably you, Olsen. Yeah. Me? I can't be bothered. <laughs> oh, it's definitely Patricia. True that. <laughs> so, Olsen, you gonna read it to us? Yes, yes. Sure, sure, sure. Y'all ready? Yes, I need to know, please. Okay, the title of the email is To Whom It May Concern from stormyfan123 at gmail.com Ooh, spooky. <laughs> yeah, it still sounds like something you wrote, Olsen. Yeah. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Olsen gets very silent. Why are you so silent, Olsen? Is it good? Is it bad? Tell us! Well, I want to read a little bit over and find my voice of the email, but it's so... So, so what? Boring! I did it now. Awesome. Done! WTF man, read it! Oh, fine! <laughs> to whom it may concern, I don't know if you know me, but I know y'all, and I think y'all might want to read this email in your latest podcast. Three stand tall. Oh my god! <laughs> What will happen in the next episode? Will Olsen finish reading the email? And is Tim Martha's son? Stay tuned for the next episode of 12 Days of Slaying. <laughs>